Are you considering moving to Canada or investing in Canada? If so, you might as well think twice, curious why. Stay tuned till the end to uncover the scoop. Welcome to Discernitively. Canada, known for its politeness, hockey, and universal health care, was once considered a safer, more stable, and more equitable version of the United States. However, recent trends show escalating challenges. The reality now includes rampant homelessness, rising violent crimes, and a healthcare system nearing collapse. How did Canada transition from a global economic powerhouse to a place where many struggle to keep a roof over their heads? Stay tuned to find out. The economic shift. Let's start with the basics. What's happening with Canada's GDP? Well, it's not looking too good. In the second quarter of 2023, Canada's GDP contracted by an annualized rate of 0.2%. This was mainly due to a drop in housing investment, slower exports, and reduced household spending. But wait, there's more. Is Canada experiencing hyperinflation, deflation, or stagflation? The answer might surprise you. Economists suggest that Canada is leaning towards a new era of 1970s style stagflation. But what exactly is stagflation? And why should we be worried about it? Well, stagflation refers to when an economy is not growing, but prices are going up and more people are out of work all at the same time. Canada's economy has traditionally been resource-based from fur trading to oil and hydroelectricity, but something has gone terribly wrong. Canadians are getting poorer and the country's productivity has stagnated. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, OECD, predicts that Canada will have the slowest growing economy among its members over the next 30 years. Did you know? The Canadian dollar is sixth among the most traded currencies worldwide, with an average daily trading volume of US $166 billion. Why is Canada's economy collapsing? In the 2008-2009 global financial crisis, Canada evaded a housing market crash or bank bailouts. Unlike the US and Britain, when central banks worldwide lowered interest rates, Canada's central bank also dropped rates to nearly zero, making mortgages very affordable and spurring a house price surge. At that time, 70% of Canadians owned homes, feeling wealthier due to rising property values. Despite the US housing collapse, Canadians felt immune leading to rampant speculation, especially in major cities like Toronto and Vancouver, with house prices soaring annually. Unexpectedly, this housing bubble didn't burst, creating a deceptive economic stability. The 2014 global oil price collapse hit Canada's economy hard, reducing oil sector investment and shifting focus more towards the housing market. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's immigration policies led to rapid population growth comparable to some sub-Saharan African countries straining the healthcare system and worsening the housing crisis. Tight monetary policies increased borrowing costs and tightened credit conditions, slowing economic activity. Trade wars and tariffs also had a significant impact. Did you know? In 2019, China blocked imports of Canadian canola and pork, notably impacting Canada's economy. The uncomfortable truths, sectoral analysis reveals alarming trends. Concerns about a potential housing bubble burst could deepen the recession. The tech industry fares better, while manufacturing declines. Canada's healthcare system is strained, with a significant loss of healthcare workers during the pandemic and not enough new workers to match population growth. Home ownership is becoming a debt nightmare as the housing market grows increasingly unaffordable due to high interest rates and inflation alongside a housing shortage. Did you know? Significant investments by Chinese billionaires in Canadian real estate have driven up prices. The economic collapse profoundly affects various income groups. Some face homelessness, others compromise on health care and education, with reports of people relocating within or leaving the country. In response, the government has adjusted interest rates and money supply, but it's unclear if these measures can revive Canada's economy. Major political parties lack concrete plans to address these issues, with lowering immigration levels seen as taboo and no political will to invest in housing or health care. The future of Canada's economy remains uncertain with recovery plans in motion, yet the impact on Canada's global standing is unknown. Investing in Canada may be risky at present. That concludes our deep dive into Canada's declining economy. Do you see Canada's economy collapsing too? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Discernitively awaits your feedback. Watch our video about China's investment in Europe, or the one below, about Apple's journey from a garage to global domination.